Unit 3, Finances, Sections 3.5, Gross Pay. Let's go through a couple of definitions to start off with here. Wage. That's a payment you receive in exchange for work or services. Overtime. These are hours you work beyond your regular hours. In most cases, regular hours is 40 hours, and if you work more than 40 hours in a week, it's overtime. Overtime also gets paid if you work a statutory holiday. And to make matters a little more complicated, sometimes when we say overtime, we're actually talking about the money you've received for working overtime. So look carefully what the question is asking and what we're talking about. Gross pay? Well, gross pay are the earnings you make before taxes and any deductions. The way I remember it is when you look at how much money you make before the government gets any of it, before taxes come off, before your deductions come off, it's kind of gross how much you would have had. In a later section, we'll get into calculating taxes and deductions and how much they really are. And lastly, your hourly rate is the amount of money you make per hour of work. Quick little thing I'm going to expect you to be able to do. You need to be able to take these fractions and convert them into decimals. You just have to have these numbers memorized. You should not need to reach for a calculator to calculate these. One quarter is 0 0.25, one half is 0 0.5, and three quarters is 0 0.75. Just know those ones. Let's get into some examples. First one here. Cindy's hourly rate of pay is $7.05 per hour. Compute her gross weekly wages if she worked the following hours. Monday, four and one quarter hours. Four and a quarter is 4.25, and she is paid 7.05 per hour. Multiply those together and Cindy earns $29.95. Wednesday, three and three quarter hours. That's 3.75 hours times 7.05 an hour gives me $26.44. Friday, Cindy worked three hours. That's $21.15. And Saturday, that's five and a quarter hours. 5.25 hours. Last step, to find her gross weekly wages, add all those numbers together. When I add those up, Cindy earned $112.80. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about overtime, time and a half, and double time. So overtime pay is how much money you earned altogether from all those hours you worked beyond your regular hours. So quick note, usually your regular hours is 40 hours. Now different jobs may have different hours, but 40 hours is a fairly standard number. In fact, there's rules and government regulations about how many hours you can work at regular time before you have to be paid overtime. Once again, all depending on your job, overtime hours sometimes can kick in if you work past your shift or if you work long enough in a single day. Overtime hours often kick in as well when you work a statutory holiday, like Christmas or New Year's or Easter. The other piece to look at, the amount that you're paid on overtime varies from job to job. Some jobs give you time and a half, so that's your regular wage times 1.5. Other jobs pay double time, which is two times regular hourly rate. Sometimes a job will pay time and a half for overtime during the week, but double time for overtime on statutory holidays. It all depends on your job. Let's run through an example of calculating what overtime rates would be. If you have a regular hourly rate of pay of $7.75 an hour, find the A time and a half hourly rate. It's really quite straightforward. We're going to take our hourly rate of $7.75. Now this time and a half, 1.5. Time is 1 and a half is 0.5. So if I times that by 1.5, your time and a half hourly rate ends up being $11.63 an hour. If your overtime is paid double time hourly rate, well double, that's times 2. 775 times 2 gives you $15.50 per hour. 
both of those are quite a bit more than your base hourly rate. 